I was really proud of the, how hard we played and we battled and you know, we saw the crowd and, and the adversity that we faced and we never backed down and we missed shot after shot after shot and that, and that never affected our defensive effort um, and I thought that showed a lot of maturity and a lot of growth. Uh, I just wish we could have made more shots. That attitude too, I mean, the second half of you when you guys came out here down 15 and they were still pretty loose going after it aggressive, can you just speak to that too as well? Yeah, I, uh, you know, it's more of the maturity and and I guess it's really probably what I'm most proud of is that in, in a game that we didn't play particularly well offensively and shoot it well, that, that didn't affect any other aspects of our game. We still tried as hard as we tried all year. Um, the Toledo teams are really good. They're whatever they are in three and just they're really, really good. And, and we cut it to ten and just couldn't quite get over the hump. But, you know, none of the adversity affected us the way that they approached. They, they came and approached every possession and tried the best they could. I know the time for reflection comes well after this. Right. But if you can, uh, just the year you guys have had. I mean, such strides you've made. I know you've been asked this repeatedly, but it, it goes without saying how much success that you, and yeah, strides you guys have made. Yeah, I think it's tremendous. I think by all intents and purposes, we had a very good year. Um, and by most people's standards, we overachieved. You know, most people, they picked us eight out of nine. Um, and we were only like 10 votes away from nine. <laughs> and the only reason we weren't nine is because Butler left. <laughs> but we would have been nine out of 10. Um, but to finish second in the conference and, and the win streak we put together in the middle of the season. And I think probably the most impressive thing was that we were good for a very long time. You know, we beat Pitt opening day and we lost back-to-back -back games once throughout a 30 or 40 game season or something like that. Um, our kids showed up after every loss, showed up every day, beat the teams they were supposed to be, which weren't very many. Um, and there'd be a lot of teams that people didn't think we were going to be. And um, I think that's probably what I'm most proud of. And then one last, I don't know when I'm going to see you again, so one last chance to talk about Brandy and the impact that she's had on this program. And she's a tremendous individual. Um, you know, she'll go down as one of the best basketball players to ever play at YSU. And to the people that know her, she'll go down as one of the best persons at YSU. She's just uh, she has a tremendous faith. She does very well in the classroom. She's kind to every person that she meets. Um, you know, her basketball accolades will speak for herself when you guys do your story about the, the player of the year and all American stuff and the points and the rebounds and all that kind of stuff. But um, you know, I would be wrong if I didn't mention the type of individual she is, the person that she is. That's probably what she would be the most proud of, and I think that's probably what I'm the most proud of is, is the type of person she is. And, the impact that she's had on, on the university, on the, on the young ladies on our team, on the people. She's just, she's a tremendous individual. Thank you. What was going through your mind when uh, she came out of the game 14-9 or were you thinking about something else? I don't know. I mean, I felt bad for her. She just, you know, as she worked, we couldn't quite get her going. We couldn't get her space to drive it into. And, and Toledo's the, one of the top ten defensive teams in the country, so you expect them to be pretty good at guarding her, and they were. Um, you know, I thought they did a very good job of, of bottling her up, and I thought we did a poor job of getting people out of the way at times. But you know, we we, we couldn't afford to take her out of the game, so we were going to play until that time came, and that time came, and it was on an aggressive play, and you know, we asked her to be aggressive, so I don't have any problems with that. Was your ace set? Yeah. Blue. Uh, I don't know what exactly it is. Um, I got a very good friend that's a doctor, but I don't know. I don't know who it is. She was ill. Yes. Was it your decision to play, or was it hers? Or it was hers. I couldn't get Sherry out of the game. There was no chance to take Sherry out of the game. This kid lives for basketball games, and she was going to compete you know, no matter what. Mm -hmm. And then, what was the uh, final message you just gave your girls before you came out here? I know. I mean, it's 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 a it's a lot of personal stuff, but the general idea is that we were very proud of them. You know, not just for me, and I speak for my staff. And we're very proud of the effort they gave and what they were able to do from the first day of practice till now and the obstacles that they overcame. And you know, then the other message is that you've got 13 players coming back that are pretty talented. You know, this has got to be something that drives you to get back to this level of playing a number of postseason games, not just a postseason game. And how much better is it to end the season like this instead of last Friday against Loyola? Oh, it's tremendous. I mean, the effort today is uh, night and day. You know, I'm, I'm probably the most thankful for that, that we didn't have to finish that way. You know, we got to play a couple more games, and the last two games our kids played their hearts out.